The creature is eight feet tall, painfully thin, rotten flesh hangs from its bony frame. It has no features, just stretched white skin pulled across <laughs> where a face should be. We have to stand on these tiles. Uh, I'll show you where. As Miri steps on that last one, it sinks in and you feel the room start to rumble. Uh, and a bunch of the tiles start dropping out. See the monster drop down into the the, the spike pit and kind of get pierced oh. with all of these spikes, oh, and it, wow. it stops moving. What That's happened to the fish steaks? Fish steaks, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you left the fish steak. <laughs> Mary, grab my tail! Grab my tail, Mary! Throw oh, me please. a rope of more anal beads. Oh. Hey everybody, welcome back to Twits and Crits, uh, the League of Extraordinary Gyremen. Spooky edition. Ooh. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Is <laughs> Halloween over? Uh, not yet. Uh, um, who remembers what we did last time? Well, we're still going through the bowels of the Baron's castle to try to find him. Speaking of bowels, Miri got pooped on. Nail oh, beads tied no. around his neck. Yeah. Uh, you guys are picking well, on that's him. Because he ended up being no, the hero. The world is well, that happened to him. him because when we were crossing this underground river, he got bit by the severed head of freak a accident. Yeah. fish man. Of. And then he couldn't breathe because he grew gills. And so we didn't know that. Hands and web, he didn't web say anything. Feet. Shattercock yeah. came on him because she figured it's it out. True. As yeah. usual. Hero. <laughs> and then some other stuff happened, but who cares? <laughs> There was a brief interjection, uh, uh, a tale of Miri's past. Mm -hmm. the uh, orphans, vizier showed up the with the, the devil's vizier. game. The description will say, Raxan and Grimo find their sea legs. <laughs> <laughs> As a cute way of, you know, alluding to their captain and captain's assistant. Who are story you? Line. Okay. <laughs> it's first mate. Um. Oh, oh, what? <laughs> and then, um, first boy. I can, it's captain's assistant. And then we fought that skin bag. <laughs> we tum we, tumbled we tumbled into a fight him. We didn't really fight it. Yeah, we just we figured yeah. out Don't the Don't solve him. Call, call Lawrence by his character's name. It's Decker Root Kid. <laughs> He's getting a yeah, little bloated. It's a coke bloat. Tried to fight the monster. No, we didn't. We, we didn't have to. We solved it due to Decker's cunning intellect. They, uh, the party, uh, solved the puzzle right away uh, without without any dollying, dollying, diddling, diddling. Like Shadowcock solved it. Actually, think you had a panic <laughs> attack. also helped. Me. <laughs> had an extreme panic attack and then somehow got extreme focus from it. Because he used drugs. You're correct, Dan. Uh, my character drugs. is representational okay. of those with mental disorders, and I would. How I, brave, kind. Thank you. But before we do anything, we should probably rest. Oh yeah. yeah. We're in this hallway. We have no health. I have well, two hit I have points. Three hit points. I'm exhausted <laughs> and I have no spells. So <laughs> so yeah, Decker's gonna heal somehow. Make the final jump, which just involves launching himself like a missile, not a magic missile, just a flesh missile, collapsing on these stairs, and then gasping for air. He's pale, sweaty. Uh, say, I need to, s I need to sleep. I have 26 of my 32 hit points. I could probably keep watch and then take a health potion. Can Ooh, Shattercock put on a skirt of some sort to make a tent that we can sleep underneath? Mm. <laughs> so I was, Do you want to sleep underneath her legs? <laughs> we are we're a dirty hallway. Yeah. All of her tent well, it's like a humidifier. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you, you guys reach the end here and start walking up those steps, and uh, that oh. stone falls right behind you. Oh, okay. So there's steps oh. leading up to a double rusted door, oh, okay. but so you're kind of sealed in this little room we're right We're still now. in a hallway? It's it's kind of a, a just a series of maybe fifteen steps okay. up. Well, I think we should take a long rest. Can we take a long rest in this tiny little hallway? Um, you can. Okay. Yes. Let's light a fire so, on these steps. Yeah, let's, <laughs> let's do it. You might not all want to fall asleep at the same time. Yeah. Got it. I'll um, I'll keep watching. I'll take a health potion. Decker's already asleep in a pool of his okay. own vomit. How long is long rest? Eight, eight, hours. eight hours. That's what I thought. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Long time. Yeah. So I'll I'll keep watching. I'll take this potion. All right, so Grimo's, I guess, on watch for eight hours. I can swap out the spells yeah. in my spell book. <laughs> you guys can do your recovery, get your health back, get your okay. spell slots back. Mm. Um, I will say, um, at some moment, you guys are trapped in a pretty small space together. Um, Who Decker, cuts the cheese? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Grimo rips one oh. hard. Well, he's standing and watch. What's he supposed to do? He can't use the bathroom? Well, you assume everybody's asleep, yeah. so no one yeah. can yeah. hear it or smell it. But you didn't have to fart. It was just... Entertaining for you. Oh, you're, you're, like, you're doing like show tunes. Oh, yeah, you're farting fish steaks. <laughs> <laughs> farting fish steaks is my favorite show tune. <laughs> so, yeah, you're, you're trapped in that little room. You, you have that fart, and then your stomach actually starts grumbling a lot no. from the bit of fish oh, steak. No, but Ooh. I need to save the fish steaks for the captain. Well, no, it's grumbling like out of pain. Like, oh. like the fish from the poison. black water was, it was not good water. for you to eat. It was the butt oh, water. No. Um, so, you got to dump real hard. What am I going to do? <laughs> Miri's butt's wide open. I should I just <laughs> poop, poop into, into his, his butt? Yeah. Oh. Hope he doesn't notice that <laughs> you replaced his poop. <laughs> he has more poop. 
can I do? You, <laughs> you, you oh should poop, but then realize after the fact that we're in a sealed off tiny yeah. room and you, you don't have anywhere to hide the okay. poop. Okay, I'm gonna. So you spend eight I, hours trying to figure out I how to just roll to try to stop myself from pooping. Yes. Eat cheese. Twelve. And anything you want me to constitution your poop check. Constitution. I mean, I guess I could go in my backpack. What it doesn't doesn't Shattercock have like a magic bag? She has a oh yeah. Oh shit! And she's asleep, so she's totally asleep. She's totally <laughs> diapers in okay, there. I to totally stealthy. shit into. You have to st- so stealthy. Yeah, I need into, to do a st- you need to do a stealth check. Okay, I'm gonna, poop this might disrupt things. Snag stealthy. her bag. I do have a box that is a portal to the party dimension. Oh yeah, you could sh- you could shit into the party dimension or into Shigway's sack. Well, <laughs> Decker was asleep, we so he wasn't able to remind for the party you of the dimension party box. Yeah. Today, yeah, so I, I'll have to shit in the bag. <laughs> oh, the first order of business. Where does Grimo shit? Shit. Well, it's three, but then my stealth is eight, so eleven. Okay, so yeah, you're able to shatter. Kind of, you know, moves when you when you give me that get, bag. Well, you gonna, <laughs> don't you get like a little bit of shit on the rim or something like that? Oh. Just just a. Just and you a have to tail. wipe it with your hand. Yeah. Oh, just. I kind of see Miri's like one of his eyes sort of. I know he knows my secret. <laughs> He's like smiling. <laughs> but yeah, you're able to shit in uh, sideways or Cox purse. Does the bag can hold up to 500 pounds? Of shit? <laughs> it's full. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like so 500 and a half pounds. There's six ounces of turd just I'm so on. relieved. I gain one permanent hit point. Nice. Permanent. <laughs> I'm not buying that. Damn it. No. Nah. Nah. Wow. Okay. So yeah. What you do you guys, wipe yourself with? That's a good question. I wipe myself. With <laughs> maybe it came out clean the outside oh, of the bag. I w- no man, way. I wish. Could There's no just, way that I wipe myself with the, the fish water. steak. Could, oh, I was gonna say, oh. just like yeah. straddle oh, like uh, <laughs> Decker's white pant leg. Uh, he's an old just like, can we, can we, we white have Mary roll to see if he's having a good dream or a bad dream? <laughs> it was a guy for right now. Yeah, no, I'm having a nightmare of exactly this. <laughs> I wipe myself with uh, Shattercock's underwear that's mm-hmm. lying around, and then it becomes a locked room mystery to see who committed the crime. It was you, and huh? then we're all in here for another ten hours trying to... Yeah, but we all knew you were the only one awake. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, everybody all healed up, get your yeah. spell slots back and everything. Mm. Right, so yeah, there's a, a double steel door, metal door that's all rusted. But... Should we claw our way through and try to open it? <laughs> yeah, Decker, let's lift it. It's a double door, so it's not like a stone, oh. unless you're trying to go backwards again. Still want to try and lift it. Okay. Roll 20. I miss the monster. Are we all rolling 20s? No. Ooh, 21. You are... Uh, Most important roll. Y- <laughs> you get the stone, you know, maybe an inch off the ground. No, no, I want to try and lift the metal doors. Oh. Um, okay, so yeah. Which you, doesn't you, make any sense. Yeah. I know. <laughs> well, you're pulling at the metal doors from below, but then they kind of just spring open. Oh. And I go, oh, it's of course it's not I'm, that kind of door. so stupid. Oh, yeah. a Mary's great, like shoulder charging it, except it's a pole. What is this rectangle? <laughs> I go, our great leader, Miri, he, he's so strong, he opens these doors, and he keeps everyone's secrets. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nice. He winked. I think he's talking about Greenwell's poop. What? I still had. No, s- no I just she had some. Uh, in my sack, everyone. <laughs> yeah, we know. He. Just he so you know. No one slept at all. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because just heard shitting all night. We just heard monologue. Right. We also we gave we gave him a pass. We're like, yeah, thanks, dude, for watching. It makes sense that you'd shit, but. Stop trying to hide it. Now, now you look guilty. Just admit it, Cremo. You pooped in my sack. Yeah, we were all kind of okay with you pooping wherever. I, it wasn't with, me. Here. We definitely know it was you, and you wiped yourself with my panties. Cremo runs through the metal doors. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there he goes crying again. All right, are you guys all going to follow yeah, Let's go through, through the there. door. Bam, you guys come in. Wow. On that side? Yeah, actually right here. Oh. It's magic reverse. So you walk through the, the double doors into a much larger room. Uh, the room's about 100 feet wide and 200 feet deep. The floors and walls are made of a dull metallic substance. The center of the room is sunken down four feet below you. The walls are lined with books and scrolls. Paper is strewn everywhere. The ceiling above is shrouded in darkness. And you can see, just make out some rafters, like way up above you. The bottom of the stairs is a work table covered in papers, scientific instruments, and medical equipment. In the center of the work table are two small vials. One has a bright red substance, and the other has a bright purple substance in it. Is that it's right it? down here. I see it. On the far right wall, two sconces are holding candles with green flames. Back over there towards uh, Decker and Miriam. Uh, something is carved on the wall between them, uh, but whatever it is that's carved, you can't make out since it's about 100 feet away from you. Uh, there are no other exits to the room, and as soon as the last person steps in, you hear the, the metal doors kind of creak back, and a, so you heard a, a lock. Uh, finally, in the center of the room, you see a huge wooden table. Its contents covered by a dirty white sheet. You can't tell what it is, but it's safe to say there's some sort of creature under there. Um, 
So hunched over that table, sobbing, is a thin, unattractive elf in an oversized lab coat. Thin, unattractive. Uh, with each sob, his whole body twitches, and he makes a <coughs> hacking sound. Um, you, you can kind of hear him muttering to himself a little bit. His name is Dr. Hextable. He's going to put Hextable. us to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! I'm Dr. Hextable. Mm-hmm. All right. It's good writing. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? I'm Shattercock. I'm also Hello. Shattercock. <laughs> Hello. I too am a man of science. Hello. Hello. He's a wizard. <laughs> Pretell, you angelic man, why are you crying? <laughs> you see, I'm so close to my pudding pop, I can almost taste her. If I can just have your assistance, then I can help you get through the castle. Uh, <laughs> this is his Cosby impression. <laughs> Cosby impression. So he's a rapist. Because <laughs> no one just wants you to drink this vial and blue <laughs> juice and don't worry about what happens after. I'm a doctor. If I can just have your assistance, I'll help you through the castle and then you can come to my wedding with my pudding pop. What do you need us to do, <laughs> Mr. So, Cosby? <laughs> so I just have a few things to complete my project. Uh, I need a tooth. A nipple and a hand. Tooth, a nipple, and a hand. <sighs> well, let's go home, guys. <laughs> Anybody have any loose teeth? Or loose nipples? Uh, Dr. Hexable, what, what is this place? What are you doing in here? You see, this is my, it's my lab and my stuff, and, you know, I do my things with my pudding pop. <laughs> His story checks out. <laughs> <laughs> this is a lab. Just need your help. Find those last a, few things. What's a pudding pop? No, it's my sweet. My 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 girlfriend. Okay, so what did she know? What were the three things you need? A, a hand, a tooth, and a what? Nipple. A nipple. Don't you have all three of those? I can't use my own. You see, I can't mm. see. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, uh, Captain. <laughs> yes. Just um, I, actually, uh, Captain, and I need to have a word in private. Come, bus Do you boy. Mind, mind, Captain? This unfortunate creature. He's so hideous. Mm-hmm. He cannot be maimed. His pudding pop would never be attracted to him. Yes, yes, you're right. The fish sticks are getting cold. Think of your dear Beatrice. Who? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a cowboy now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeehaw. Uh, so do you think you can help the old doc? How are we supposed to find those things? Decker's like moving his jaw around. And... Oh, so, yeah, yeah, that one was already loose. Just, loose just like thumb, thumb flicks it towards uh, mm. Dr. Hextable. Hex catches it. He goes, thank you, Grimo. What? And um, he kind of fiddles underneath the, you know, the little... Blanket? Fabric that's there oh. and kind of jams jams something I, and he goes yeah. <laughs> I looked uh, I looked at Shattercock and go you have nine nipples. Wait, you're right, I do. And they grow back. All right, <laughs> it's something I just made up. <laughs> um, so Shattercock has a dagger, and she slices off oh. like one of the bottom ones. Shattercock, you should not do this yourself. Wh- why? Because you're so delicate and think of your beautiful. What's your your dumb wife's name? Uh, Koja? Yeah, it's a dumb name. She's <laughs> dumb. Beatrice, maybe? She think of Koja. She wouldn't want you maiming yourself. You gotta get somebody else to do it. Grimo? Will you do the honors? I would love to. That's why Grimo takes a knife. Go, Miri, Shattercock would like you to cut a nipple off for her. But don't let your wife find out, because women get jealous of that my sort wife. of thing. Miri, yeah. we've heard from your wife. She talks about your intimate, personal life, okay? That's not a woman, that's not your wife. Cut my tit! <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, what do I roll? For? What do I roll for that? I don't know. Damn. Twenty. Twenty. No oh boy. Let's find out how do successful this is. That's a big check. nipple. Oof. Is this the worst this show's ever been? Uh, Hold on. We're not mutilating. Hold Six. On. Five. Oh, oh. He's gonna miss because of my heavy armor. Oh sure. no. Does he and cut your disdain for nipple? nudity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he takes a swipe and actually gets just kind of the tip of oh. the nip. Oh. Oh. Yeah, and it's getting bloody and gross. Oh. Will this work? I give him the. Offer the tip. Uh, you see, oh, I need the slice. whole areola oh, to make it work. Bro, you should have been specific. All Sorry. right, well, Creamo, you want to give this a shot now that he fucked it up? Yeah, no problem. Derek? Do you want me to cut off my nipple? No, I want you to cut off Shattercock's nipple. Uh, <laughs> but don't uh, okay, uh, don't let Miri's uh, wife find out, though, because she's a little it. jealous type. Oh, God. Uh, Come on. I need, you, I need it. It's bleeding. Uh, it's bleeding. There's pus everywhere. So then he like takes takes the tip of the nipple and like pulls it real tall. Uh. <laughs> then goes closes his eyes and then goes down. Uh. <laughs> Roll a twenty at disadvantage with closed eyes. Cuts his own hand off. Yeah. I was oh, then you say. got both. Oh, oh no. No, that's no. disadvantage. Yeah, you advantage. Oh, oh, oh no. shit. Well, yeah, yeah. you, you kind of just you're, you're not going that hard. You just kind of stick a blade in your arm, so oh, it's just kind of damn. Oh. Ow. What are you doing? 
Oh my can, god, is there a doctor anywhere? Can I use my summoning scroll of Saite? I'm a man of science. You don't have that. <laughs> uh, yes, I do. <laughs> yeah, you had four years of adventures, and in one of them, you got a summoning yeah, scroll. Yeah, yeah, we Saite. was crazy. It was <laughs> when we fought the, the mer people. And he said, if you ever need my help, and I said, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> and I took his trash. Dr. Hexable, we need your help. My acquaintance has practically cut his hand off. What about my tit? And tits. You got more. Hmm. You see, over there near the vials, there's something that could maybe help. I forget which one it is or what color, but, you know, something over there. There's also uh, a morgue, but I don't remember where it went. Wait, so we didn't have to use our nipples in our hands? Oh, well, no, probably not. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> but you can. Fresh, fresh nips are the best. Where's the morgue? I forget which way it went. Deku, the only thing that's going to sh stop Shattercock's bleeding is a suckle. That's true. I couldn't do it because I'm promised to a fair lady in the Jaya. Put and my mouth, mouth is too dry. <laughs> um, yeah, I'd like to take this time to tell you guys that I actually have a girlfriend back home. Everyone ignores I didn't tell you guys before because yeah. I didn't want to be like bragging no, about it. So what's up with you? But I actually uh, I do like, like we've been yeah, together for yeah. oh, like a while now. <laughs> She's really real and it really really hurts. Um, yeah, pull this out. You guys remember that house right, well. that flew? Yeah. yeah. So cool. that's like a thing that's <laughs> been going on with me. Really? They're stale. Yeah, I know you think. I'm kind of hungry. Like Chattercock, are you jealous? Are you gonna summon Saite or what? Well, I heard about a morgue. Maybe we summon him in there. Grimo, what'd you say? Someone find the morgue. I know. I don't want you to be jealous. I'm sorry if you're jealous. I got a little. A little party trick I picked up in the sex dimension. Okay. Check this out. So he's got a spell alter self. He's gonna cast that on an on himself to make his mouth a layer of like 20 suction cups, each de like decreasing in uh, diameter. Okay. It's just like a, a terrible, You're terrible to do an disfigured octopus or something. kind of, yeah, yeah. But more inverted. Ugh. And I'd be like, okay, here we go. And then just whoomp, just like suction right onto that boob. And you feel you feel untold. Pleasures, but it's also disgusting. Okay. So it's just He's like a bunch you, of. By the way, yeah. 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 this, this is inside into yeah. Decker's sex life. Yeah. <laughs> you love it. Yeah. Yeah, you're you're having a great time. Imagine a roller coaster of meat. That is what your uh, your breast is is feeling right now. Yeah, it sounds oh, awesome, right? I, I really love men. <laughs> yeah. Th so yeah, there's probably some wincing going on. Uh, Captain, perhaps we should check out the morgue. Can we go by where, Can we check out those green lights? Let's go. No, uh, I still have a, a, I'm doing this. A rowing <laughs> dagger <laughs> coming out of my wrist. I'm trying to pry Decker's head off my boob. No, it's really Stop latched it. on there. No, 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 we're good. It's, it's fine. It's Careful, fine. you're gonna rip her nipple off. Stop. <laughs> Decker's actually gone completely slack, so you're just like <laughs> swinging him around. Like, <laughs> Stop bleeding! It's bleeding! It's fine. So yeah, roll, roll a twenty real quick. Get this. No oh boy. <laughs> so you're swinging him around like this, and it actually latches on to your other nipple too. Oh man! So he's got a no, real no, boob. Two, yeah. two boobs going oh. into one mouth. You're still trying to fling them. Um, All right, well, Derek, let's go to the fucking. Derek is, gonna, <laughs> is looking around for bandages so that he can wrap up his bleeding, uh, daggered hand, and goes over to those green. All right. So as you're walking lights. over there, you just pick up like a scroll or something off the floor and okay. <laughs> wrap it around your arm. All right. It stops the bleeding. The, the scroll, scroll says like yeah. something like how to stop bleeding, mm -hmm. like yeah. <laughs> proper proper medical procedure yeah. for stopping Thank bleeding. Um, and then I want to go see what's like. Look over there. All right. Um, so between the sconces, do you know Elvish by chance? I do not. Okay. So you you recognize <laughs> Elvish script uh -huh. uh, written on the wall between the sconces, kind of chiseled into the stone. You know, yeah. simple things like so, thank you, yes, please. Where's, yeah, the, yeah. Bathroom? where's the bathroom? Well, I'm gonna roll roll a twenty for me. So you I have an idea. Investigating. I have an idea. An eight uh, plus perception zero eight. Okay, so yeah, you, you notice the script is an Elvish, and you, you can kind of see some drag marks that are right underneath your feet, kind of coming from between the sconces over to that open coffin that's sitting next to the door. Okay, so I stare at the door. Or it's a wall, really. I, I just kind of like do this at it. <laughs> <laughs> and I look back at everyone. <laughs> And I do this more. Does All anyone right. speak Elvish? Someone, uh, someone may. I think, uh, I think this <laughs> gentleman <laughs> attached to my tits <laughs> does speak Elvish. I remember <laughs> him doing that. <laughs> so I'm gonna walk him over there. <laughs> Feet are dragging. Decker's walking. Walk him over. Decker, <laughs> can you see? She does this. <laughs> does it's kind of a sideways look. Uh, in case you guys forgot, he's wearing like fiery esque yellow tinted glasses. No one forgot. Good. <laughs> so he, while, while attached to the boob, lifts them up. <laughs> no, no. Does anybody understand Does that? Does anyone speak muffled 
tit language? <laughs> <laughs> Raxan, do you speak it? muffled tit language? Uh, <laughs> let me check my compass. <laughs> I can tell you, Grimo was you're a breastfed <laughs> until he was 12. <laughs> oh, there you go. So, if, if Deku does it to me, I could probably tell you what he's saying. Oh, right, Grimo, get over here! All right. All right, read it again! <laughs> He says the Elvish is <laughs> No, we did it in English. Well, that's what he said the Elvish is, and then the translation from the Elvish is. So it says, "In my quest for eternal life, I've lost my friends. I've burnt the candle at both ends." The butler did it. <laughs> did anybody get that? He, he just repeated again? the same he thing. He just wants yeah. more. He wants more cool ranch dur Doritos. <laughs> What's the the quote on the wall? So it says, in my quest for eternal life, I've lost my friends. I've burnt the candle at both ends. Uh, Dr. Hextable, do you know who wrote this? Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> All right. Uh, it could have been me, though. I don't remember so good. Hmm. All the experiments, I guess. Decker looking out of the side of his eye, side-eyeing as hard as he can. Um, so these, these Two were in sconces. Yeah, so, they, so they're they're like sconces with little candles with green flames. Is there a door next to this? Uh, there's no apparent door. It's a okay. wall. Okay. Is the candle poking out below the sconce, or is it just rested in there? It's just kind of rested in there. And and mm. Derek did see kind of scrape scrap marks kind of going through the ground towards where that coffin is, is resting. Are there any other doors in this room? Uh, there are none that you can see. Oh, okay. Let's see back back there. Are those the only candles? Uh, there's some opinion? other candles uh, lighting up different parts of the room on different tables, but those are the only ones that are glowing a strange color. The rest of them look like regular flames. What? Uh, if you could make it with the nipple and hmm. uh, the hand and we could move on with this. We have to go to the morgue though, so where's the morgue, Dr. Hextable? Uh, I don't know. He doesn't remember so cool. good. Yeah, no. Cool. Start All motioning. Right. What? Telling you to like grab his hair. Grab his okay. All right. So I think he wants me to grab his hair. You can just say it. No. <laughs> so Shadowcock. You need to you oh. need to get it. You need to break the seal. He's yeah. saying you need to break the seal. Okay. Uh, Hold so on. Oh, Give, oh, we oh. need something that we can shove in here. Um, <laughs> uh, Derek looks for the dirtiest, nastiest medical tool that he can find in this in this room. Uh, okay, so there's a plunger looking device uh -huh. uh, covered in several different substances. So then he uh -huh. takes the plunger and then he's like, all right, I'm gonna, show, I'm gonna break the seal, I'm gonna break the seal. And then so he slides it into the corner of uh, Decker's mouth. <laughs> Squish it around in his mouth and then like pops <laughs> pops him off. <laughs> <laughs> he like shakes it out, oh, that squares off. I forgot that was supposed to last like ten thousand years. I think I think I just had an orgasm. What was on that thing? What are you what on that? Those ah. are my boobs. No, 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 no. Whatever. Gritty. Yeah. Talking about the tool. Mm, oh, these rusty, dirty. Maybe does it smell like poop? Always. It, says, no. it just says hazardous. Skull <laughs> <laughs> yeah. on it. Ah, so hmm. I don't know how literally to take this inscription here. Sounds coming about candles. If I know anything about this this dungeon, usually the the puzzles are pretty easy to solve. Uh, hmm. I'll go over and inspect the coffin. Like, throw the lid off and just see what's inside. All right, so you, you see a, a mutilated uh, elf body missing various body parts. What body Does parts is he missing? He doesn't have hands. Mm. Um, we tried. Feet, yeah. feet can kind of look like hands. That's, That's true. true. Deca, I think you true. were on something with the candles. Yeah, the burn the candle at both ends thing. How about that? Uh, let's just try it. Why not? I'm going to walk up and uh, pull one of the candles out of the sconce. Okay. Do I, does it come out? So yeah, the candle comes out. As it comes out, the, the sconce, like, the weight shifted so much, the sconce kind of tips over just a little bit. Whoops. Oh, well, that's probably not a problem. And then I'll, I'll take it over and then hold the other end up to the other candle, try and light both sides. So yeah, you, you do that, and the both of the, the sconces kind of flip down, and that space between the sconces opens up, and a dark tunnel is in front of you. Uh -huh. Aha! Puzzles! And he just throws the candle over his shoulder. <laughs> it lands on like a pile of papers and ignites. <laughs> it just oh. says, life's work. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Dr. Hextable, do you know where this goes? Uh, that would be the door to the morgue. We did it. Well, you right, remembered. Right, of course wow. I did. All right, well, we're, we'll be right back with your, uh, what did you need? A, a hand nipple. and a nipple. That was it. All right. So well, we go into the morgue. Let's head. I'm heading down. <laughs> All right. So yeah, you guys, it's kind of it goes down into the ground a little bit, and you're surrounded by similar looking coffins kind of strewn out for you. Several of them have their lids off and have different body parts poking out. Do any of them have hands? Uh, yes. I'm going to take I'm going to take the hand off one of the corpses. So there's a bunch of different creatures down there. What kind of 
kind of mm, what handy. do I got to choose from? I, there's like, every, anything like you Walmart. could want. Wow, it is like, like a, a Walmart. Walmart. Yeah, I want to take a bird man's hand. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> wing. So it's got like yeah, most of the wing, and but it also has like a hand, kind of like when Batman does his thing. So. Okay, sweet. All right. Yeah. Grimo's scanning the room for the freshest nips. I see the foot of uh, an entrosilus, and I'm like, oh, I know this one. Go over, flip up the lid. It has, in fact, one giant breast, except it's mostly areola. So it's basically just an entire areola, chest-sized areola. That's our nip. That's actually cancer. Fist nip. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a lot of cancer, but Huxable probably won't know. So I'm like, ooh, boy, we've had a lot of fun, you and I. And I just slap it, jiggles around a little bit. I'm like, well, does anyone have a dagger or something? Because we gotta, we gotta get this, gotta get this old girl upstairs. We didn't need the jaws of life to get that thing out. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I've got, I've got a dagger, but it's gonna take you a while to cut through. All right, thank you for that. That's okay. Let's go. Just start. Grima starts working on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> Meet in the middle. It's like leading the turkey. Carving like a turkey. A, yeah, yeah. Making a pumpkin. It, your job at going around the circle is pretty poor, though, so it's like real oh, jagged yeah. everywhere. Ugh. How old is this body? Uh, it's surprisingly fresh. The, oh, man. The breast creature, whatever you breast called it. Breast creature. Uh, We've had many encounters in the sex dimension. Even, even once it's dead, its uh, skin and stuff stays. Supple and, oh, and nice. that's why they very keep them nice. around. That's yeah, very nice. Yeah. Um, so I want to come back out from the morgue with the bird hand. Um, where's R Where's Raxan? I'm there. So as I'm coming out, I'm really excited, and I'm like, Doctor Hexable, Doctor Hexable, look at this cool hand I found. But then I trip and fall, and then accidentally cut off Raxan's hand. All right. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, shit. <laughs> Tripping and falling is my favorite. <laughs> cool. Um, roll <laughs> twenty for that. Because <laughs> a feather like gets in my face. Or <laughs> sure. Yeah. Do we roll against each other? Like you don't get a Roll battle. <laughs> oh, man. It, it surprised you. Eleven. Oh. I'm dead. Um, so yeah, uh, one of the feathers kind of got up in your nose. And you go, <laughs> yeah. And you go tumbling. <laughs> I guess you also had a sword in your hand. Yeah, I always had a sword. <laughs> okay. Well, that's the sword I used to cut off the bird. Oh, hand. that's right. That makes sense. Um, so you guys all kind of go tumbling down onto the ground mm. there, um, and the the feather arm kind of rolls and goes under the table, mm -hmm. and then Raxon's hand kind of tumbles over and lands right at Huxtable's feet. Oh, they get mixed up. <laughs> what are you going to do? Oh, this no. one is which? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dr. Huxtable, we need you to help us. Our friend lost his hand, and he needs a bird hand now. You guys are at the morgue. <laughs> After you put this new hand on your bride, oh, nice. would you put the bird hand on him? Grimo! I'd be proud to do that. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Hextable. <laughs> You're a good man. You guys are having a weird conversation from, <laughs> yeah, from the yeah, morgue. Yeah, shouting from the morgue. <laughs> Well, Grimo came. He came out. Dude. Finished so carving Gr it. Yeah. So Grimo's holding off. the. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got to really slap it out. Yeah. It's like it drying stuck. laundry. It kind of like, gets stuck to itself a little jumps bit. Down from like the upper level and then glides, <laughs> like uh, Link. <laughs> so I do have a bird hand now. Not yet. Hold on. Oh, okay. So yeah, it's turn. <laughs> We're excited for it's gonna work out for you, buddy. Don't worry. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it hurts all the time, <laughs> especially in the cold. <laughs> um, so yeah, you see, uh, Hextable's kind of—he's got a long string and a needle, and he's just going to town underneath this uh, the drop blanket. Um, you guys gave him his nipple too. It was oh, a yeah. giant pizza-sized yeah. nipple. Yeah, okay. It was basically, Deep pizza dish. Dough. It'll it'll do. personal pan. Steaming hot. <laughs> um, he actually trims it up a little bit, so it's not quite as large, but it's still right. measure twice, it, cut it's, once. It's, yeah, it's well, still larger than your face. I guess blood's just shooting everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> like you're a bleeding everywhere. But I give you the yeah. the scroll. Mm -hmm. that uh, says yeah, we're how to stop bleeding. De Derek and I are just trying to stuff different things yeah. into it. Uh, yeah, nothing's working. Like rusted. I have an idea. I take your stub and I. Put it up against Miri's butt. Yeah, yeah. Okay, oh, good. No. Yeah, it's, it's working. It's plugged. <laughs> this is familiar. <laughs> Gross. No. Blood comes out of his nose. <laughs> so uh, the doctor finishes what he's doing. He pops up. He goes, You see, there's still one last thing I need to bring my mangled missus back to life an energy source. The usual source, a lightning strike. You see, it's a di bit difficult to come by underground. Mm. I've got my magic little machine here. Uh, just needs a kickstart. So he he points to the the kind of the stone plinth next to him. Uh, a glass ball filled with blue liquid floats in a basin of mercury. Cables and hoses run from the spigot on the top of the the glass ball uh, underneath the sheet and the table. The plinth is constructed of kind of stone clockwork that's slowly rotating. Um, I walk over and I start bleeding on it. Mm -hmm. to see if that helps. <laughs> 
So because I, I think I have elf blood. Um, it actually starts to slow slow down uh, the ooh. orb. Y- you see, we just need to get the orb. It's a spinning and a going. Needs like a cookie or something so I get more blood. <laughs> Decker, I think one of us has a lightning yeah. spell, right? God damn it! I knew someone was gonna bring that up. I'm gonna level with you guys. That heart, the spell's really hard to cast, and I'm not just not feeling it right now. So. I don't know. We, there's probably some other solution here. Uh, no, I'll, I'll give it a shot. I have the lightning spell too. That will work. Yeah, yeah. Why won't you do it? Ah. I wish I could help, guys, <laughs> but I can't. My girlfriend back home doesn't like when I do like lightning stuff like that. Can we cut back to the gyre? What's going on in the gyre? In the gyre, there's nothing. There is no girlfriend. <laughs> 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 he made it up. He made it up, and he now he's up. telling it's everyone about it. Just wind blowing through grapes. And that's it. All right, All right well, Shadowcock will try and back cast to uh, lightning bolt on this thing. Um, I need to move my character over there. Uh, Okay, lightning bolt is a stroke of lightning forming a line 100 feet long and five feet wide blast from out from you in a direction you choose. Um, takes 8d6 lightning damage. There's a dexterity, dexterity saving throw on a creature, but I'm not casting on a creature. Okay, yeah, so, so. It, we'll just say it, it, it strikes. It does? Right? Yeah. Do I need to roll for anything? Or? Um, spells I don't really see hard. why. Okay, cool. Um, cool. You're just trying to shoot your lightning at the... Directly at, at the, the yeah, thing. at the ball. Um, so when you're casting lightning, where does it like emanate? Like from a, from me, yeah, and but, it's like hundred feet in one direction. Okay, and it's five feet wide. There's no like special shattercock way of casting lightning. Oh, um, <laughs> oh no. Uh, I mean, I guess there could be. You could maybe like like static with socks. Mm-hmm. You you spin your boobs. Yeah, <laughs> like a generator. <laughs> oh wow. Okay, that's even better than what yeah, I was like thinking. A, I was thinking like a dog on the carpet, just like. Let's start, r- okay. Rub your ass. All right, then I'll do all of those things. So, <laughs> so she starts. Even though the, normally when she's casting, she never does any of this. But fuck it. Uh, it's been five years. It's a little rusty. She's. Yeah. Uh, what she does is she gets down on the floor, um, starts to rotate her boobs like uh, one. So one goes the other yeah, way concentrically. Yeah, they 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 go concentric like pasties. Nice. Um, Good stuff. And then starts to rub her thighs together as Ooh, she's, as, like she's turbines. On, as she's on on the ground rubbing her thighs. Her boobs are going. <laughs> And then what was the last one? Did somebody else say something else? Like scoots her ass on the carpet. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah. And she starts uh, basically grinding mm. her oh, vagina. Yeah, Sibian. They're grinding her vagina against the ground as she's, she's rubbing her thighs energy. together. And her boobs are consistently going. Mm. And uh, she goes, ah! Ah! <laughs> cool. And lightning shoots out of her mouth. Uh-huh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> shoots out of her mouth and hits the ball. She's it. <laughs> right on. So, yeah, the. She missed. The, the, <laughs> <laughs> you missed. That, uh, that arc of lightning hits the, the blue ball, uh, and a visible Don't electric charge starts moving through the air. Uh, the blue, blue orb starts to glow and spin in place. The clockwork plinth starts to rotate faster and faster. A burst of light uh, emerges from the orb, and the the kind of a shock goes down all those tubes and hoses underneath the the blanket there. Uh, the creature below the white sheet starts to shake violently. Uh, Doctor Hexable throws himself onto the creature to try and you know keep it calm, but is is sent flying through the air. Um, you see Raxon's hand emerges from the cloth. Uh, oh. the, the the one that you're missing. Oh, you actually took it off. There it is. See, so Raxon's hand <laughs> emerges, reaching from beneath the sheet and pulls it away. Unveiled in all of her glory is Puddin' Pop. Whoa! Oh, Dude! So, Holy shit! Uh, is that a bird leg? a beauty mark. I love it. Yeah, she's pretty banging. Uh, cross-eyed, buck tooth, frizzy hair and sunken cheeks. She does have a rotten ear and is, uh, has sewn on body parts all over her. Uh, she does have a rock and bod and big naturals. Big naturals, man. Never heard that before. Those, Sarah Silverman. <laughs> those nipples are. Those so, naturals. She always says my big naturals. And those aren't. Uh, those aren't her nipples. <laughs> no, they aren't. <laughs> you do notice. So she's got like a nice covering there, but uh, her right breast is all nipple. Right, like mm-hmm. it is it's covered the entire. It kind of comes mm-hmm. up onto her neck. God, that's bit. real sexy. It's mm-hmm. extremely. Can you get a little aerial outside? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, it is. Mm-hmm. Cheese yeah, you still crust. have your created. What is it? Your tongue with oh, all the suction tooth? cups. Cups. Oh no, that wore off. Sorry. Oh, okay. I dispelled it, but perhaps, perhaps I'll have a reason to summon Ugh, it back. Please you know. don't. Yeah, never. Perhaps. <laughs> Listen, so, Decker's a giver. All right. He got all of his selfishness out. Given FTDs. In his ten, or... in his ten millennia inside the party dimension, <laughs> he learned a lot about himself and flavor, and now he's a new man. All right. So uh, Doctor Hextable is. He's just freaking out with excitement. His puddin' pop came to life. He goes, Puddin' pop, it's me, your boyfriend, the man of your dreams. Literally, she's been asleep. Yeah, your boy, your boyfriend. Like, yeah, um, nothing too serious. <laughs> I, know, I, know. I want to see other people. What's your problem, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Never said we were dating. So you see her kind of waking up and stretching, and she goes, duh. 
<laughs> you don't sound like my boyfriend. In my sleep, my boyfriend sang to me, he has the voice of an angel. My dear, you're, you're confused. Of course I'm your boyfriend. I made you. I brought you to life. I own you. Oof. Wow. I like this guy's style. Yeah. yeah. Duh. Real hero. <laughs> it starts with duh. <laughs> ain't, duh. Ain't no man own Puddin' Pop. Uh, Puddin' Pop's an independent <laughs> woman. <laughs> uh, well, well, Puddin' Pop does have a boyfriend, though. He's got that voice of an angel. Uh, Hextable's starting to kind of get visibly upset. You know, he wanted Puddin' Pop to submit to him immediately. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you're referring to that ruffian pedophile phantom, the one who shouts show tunes from the rafters. Ah, <laughs> I see where this is going. Yeah. Puddin' Pop uh, takes a swing and pops uh, Hextable like right in the nose. Nice. Wow. Uh, you see, you see blood splurt, and he actually Puddin comes out. <laughs> he actually goes flying a few feet away, okay. and he's like knocked right. unconscious. I walk over his unconscious body. I go, "Can you put the bird hand on Raxan?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You said you would. Yeah. He's just sitting all right. there. Oh, all right, Raxan, I can figure this out. Okay, <laughs> let's just find the right scroll. So yeah, you go digging through through scrolls. I mean, it says hand replacement. I also, I also want to know what's going on with these vials too. Mm -hmm. Uh, Grimo shows up. He's just had his hands washed. He's mm -hmm. ready to mm -hmm. assist in surgery. Mm -hmm. So you ran over to this this. I know. Come spot. with me. So then I take Raxan and the hand and Grimo over to the vial. So it, right after uh, Puddin Pop, before you're, or I guess as you're moving over here, Puddin Pop connects with uh, Hextable's nose. She goes, Durr, "Don't you ever talk about my man that kind of respect." Um, that's not a lot of that. Well, she just woke up. You know. You're over looking at all these vials and things. Yeah. Well, she's doing her thing. <laughs> They're having their spat. I go. Mm. I'm pretty sure this is, uh, according to the text here, it says that this is hand reconnection <laughs> fluid. And I just look at her. I trust you. <laughs> <laughs> Makes <sense>. so. <laughs> roll a twenty. So I'm gonna hold. Yeah. All right. Oh, nice. Plus my science. <laughs> <laughs> science? You have investigation or I have anything? Medicine. Yeah, what's that? Zero. Oh, oh, nice. Um, so you you do kind of you look through the papers and the scrolls there, and you see uh, the different color liquids, the purple and the red. Um, the purple one has uh, La Rocha written on it, and the red one um, just has a big circle drawn on it. Mm. Figure it out, dumbass. And all of my years of medical school would lead me to believe that the big circle is better than a word that I can't read. So we're gonna have you drink, take a sip of the red stuff. Oh, you got it. You got it, bro. Grimo, if you could assist, you're gonna hold the bird hand up to his stump um, while he drinks the drinks the juice. Yes, head doctor. <laughs> all right, so let's do it on ah. my count. <laughs> all right, on my count. That's what doctors say. Then. Three, <laughs> two. <laughs> One, get time of death ready. <laughs> so as he's choking down the liquid and uh, Grima's holding a bird hand up to his hand, mm -hmm. you see uh, the, the stump starts to kind of uh, move around and wither. wither nice. And it kind of grows itself over the... Wow. The... Bird, bird hand. Bird hand. Yeah. Oh. Um, but then the bird hand starts to take over a little bit and uh -oh. moves further up his arm. Mm -hmm. Nice. Kind of where your hand would have been kind of pops out of the wing hand. So you've actually got two, you got a giant claw and a human hand, <laughs> and then this bird wing. Ugh, what um, in the world? But you feel Another perfect. successful operation. <laughs> <laughs> you, you feel wonderful. Doctor, you've done it again. <laughs> Say no more, that'll be $18 million. I, <laughs> so he has a wing and a hand now? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, right. losers. Right. Cool. <laughs> Anima captain. See how great it worked out for you? <laughs> captain, can you show me how to be a bird? You, boy whose name I never learned, you are the owner of the boat now. I'm among the bird people. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big fraction. Of <laughs> I wonder I what's know. in that other one, though. I don't know why I said that. Oh, which one did you drink, the red or the purple? The, he drank the red. Oh. Grimo drinks the other one. Your dick okay. gets smaller. <laughs> Not possible. <laughs> <laughs> so Grimo starts to feel a little lightheaded uh, and dizzy and pretty sleepy, actually. Um, you did get the Cosby potion, Wait, but also quite some... handsy. Yeah, like Whoa. you're, you're kind of you're touching your butt and you're you know <laughs> you're touching feeling yourself? good. Yeah, I mean, uh, kind of like rubbing up. So Grim is just in the corner spanking himself. Dr. Hexable, what's this loose juice? Wait, she's turning into Bill Cosby <laughs> now too. What's the loose juice, Dr. Hexable? Uh -oh. 
Well, you see, that's the. Uh, oh, he's awake. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. No, he's asleep. He pops out and he goes, oh, yes. Uh, <laughs> then he falls back he, over. Is there a young person <laughs> in distress? Oh, that wakes him up. It's like an alarm clock. <laughs> the whole time, uh, Shattercock, nobody's, nobody's noticed, but Shattercock and Puddin' Pop. Have made eye contact. I knew it. Oh, and, exactly. uh, I knew. and Shattercock was immediately smitten as soon as You're Puddin, Pop, Puddin Pop came up. No, not they didn't get married. They didn't get married. They, they just, just had sex for an hour or two. And Shattercock said, "Oh, <laughs> she's, she's, she's very." Uh, yeah, she, <laughs> and she she walks over to Puddin Pop. She says, "Ah, uh, do you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend?" Uh, just saying, there's a boyfriend. I, I do have a boyfriend. He sings to me. What about if I sing to you? I, I love singing. Do it. Never gonna your, give you up. <laughs> I was gonna say, oh. like, uh -huh. Nice. <laughs> Beautiful. While she's singing, you Decker also just have the voice appears of an behind angel. her. Wait, appears behind who? Behind Shattercock. Uh. Just like in the background, just watching and smiling. Oh, I like some music. And she, she kind of moves on to. Wanted, dead or alive. <laughs> uh, the song of her people. <laughs> so that, as she's saying what happens duh, duh, you you just you have the best voice keep singing to me please is it, oh jeez yeah I keep singing is it, is it better than your boyfriend's well no 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 <laughs> I gotta got think of another song to sing without any uh, tunes you know my boyfriend he comes to me in my dreams oh well what does your boyfriend do I, I don't know sings that's it that's will you help me find my boyfriend oh I don't know if I should do that comes on her in her dreams it's <laughs> cool. Decker's gonna yeah. walk up, with a hand on your shoulder, which which should creep you out a little bit. It always does. It's like kind of clammy. Yeah. Shattercock, I know what you're doing. I'm here to help. Also, because I kind of want to see what's gonna happen. But you know, <laughs> rustles around in his jacket, pulls out a, a sobbing tiny phonograph. It's like, Shut the fuck up! <laughs> thump it on the back. All right, we're good friends, uh -huh. and my little guy here is gonna help you sing and okay. win her heart. All right, start. Well, hold on a minute. I right. turns around. And you just like see him hunch over and like kind of shake a little bit. You go, Aah! some just like angry tones. He turns around again. God damn it. All right, it's like, okay, me and the phonograph have reached an understanding. The phonograph will play for you. <laughs> and then I'll get to see you guys kiss. Okay. So what song do you want? I can, I can teach you to play anything. Find something that I can easily sing. You got it. I don't really thought this far ahead. <laughs> so, uh, Puddin, Puddin kind of, <laughs> you got something? <laughs> it's it's going to take me a minute. It's going to be the perfect drug by Nine Inch Nails. <laughs> 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 so What's Miri up to? Puddin, Puddin kind of <laughs> turned. <laughs> yeah, what is Miri doing? What Taking is, a nap what under is he the doing table. Yeah. I want to just be laying on my side watching all this. You know, oh. just kind of like. Puddin's kind of staring off into the distance, kind of lost in memory. Good -der. When I dream, thou <laughs> art the phantom of Wallachia there inside my heart. Always starts in All right, we got it. I don't know if you know the song, Bruce. I hit it. Oh, tell me, tell me, what can I say? What can I do? 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 My girlfriend likes when I sing this song to her. She likes it too. You have a girlfriend too. I do. She's yeah. She's very real. What's her name? I don't know the rest of the song. Chen Li. Chen, Chen Li. Chen Li. Pay attention. Chen Li. Oh, Chen Li. <laughs> do you really like? Do you like uh, this really deep voice? I do. It sounds like my boyfriend. <laughs> the, the doors burst open. The metal doors burst open. And it's the vizier. Oh, we geez. don't have time. Uh, we don't, have time don't cut them. off your hand or your nipple or your teeth. It's not worth it. <laughs> don't worry, I didn't. You know everything. Yeah. I mean, he observes the situation and then he goes, Very well. <laughs> well, just in case, here's this message from your wife. <laughs> Mary, I'm pregnant. I don't know how we did it, but we did it. I'm pregnant with three different children. You're the greatest husband in the world. We haven't had sex in years. How did you do it? My I know this is recording. Yeah. Doctor's here. Yeah. Sounds like a sound show. <laughs> Come on in, doctor. I know this is recording, but I just want you to know we're pregnant. You're the best husband ever. Uh, all right, now stop listening. Not my wife, Mary. Stop listening. Yeah, you're looking very healthy, Miss uh, Mary. Uh, stop listening. Uh, uh, stop. Uh, listening. Uh, stop. Uh, listening. Uh, I need ultrasound. Please remove your clothing, right. please. Oh. Okay. All right. I'm a medical oh, doctor. doctor. Hold on. Ding dong. Oh, right. God damn it. All right. okay, I'm going it's through. your mother. Your, your mother's up. here. All right. Did all that right. little dwarf ever put in your schwinter? Thank you. 
Miri, and then he takes steps back, and then the door closes. <laughs> it locks again. <laughs> yeah. He must be so, a demon uh, of some kind. You all of, a sudden see, all of a sudden see Dr. Hexpole standing over here. If you could toss him. There you go. That's about right. Standing up on the table. He goes, You see, dear, you're treading on dangerous ground. You have no idea. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I gifted you life. You are mine. I own you. And... Hextable pulls out a green vial from his jacket, pours it down his throat. One of these was going to be for you, my dear Puddin, but go ahead, be a strong, independent woman. He swigs the contents, and with moment, within moments he starts to change. First, his face begins to swell and twitch, and his eyes start to bug out. His entire body starts convulsing. Whoa. With each muscle spasm, his oh, limbs seem to stretch, Man, and shredded. his muscles grow twice the size, transforming his once scrawny physique into a brawny Goliath. Oh. His mouth curls into a permanent snarl. His eyes are bloodshot and crazed. Uh, Mr. Bill reaches uh, for Puddin', but is stopped dead in his tracks when he hears a hoo. Mr. Bill's eyes widen and he Mr. pauses Bill? for a listen. Yes. SNL? And then uh, again, you hear it louder the, how? Bill takes off, runs over to his desk calendar, which has to date, today's date circled in big red uh, with arrows pointing at it, and it says, Full Moon Beware, scrawled <sighs> next to it. He goes, Hopefully, you're independent enough and brave to uh, survive the full moon on your own. And then, boom! Uh, this lab wall over here, kind of behind you guys, Oops. or actually, sorry, right over here, uh, there's a little hole. Mm -hmm. The lab wall is blown wide open. Papers and parchments are kind of filling, flying through the air and floating around. Wow. Another, another hulking figure comes charging in. Cool! <laughs> Ten foot tall wolf man pops through the door. Napoleon's just getting better. Uh, <laughs> His, his, uh, oh, he's, did someone apply a paint yes. filter to it? <laughs> yeah. was an oil paint filter on, yeah. <laughs> on this very real drawing. So yeah, uh, he butt bursts through the wall. He's ten feet tall, covered in coarse and matted fur. His ears are back and his fangs and claws drip with the blood of a fresh kill. His tail is wagging like crazy in excitement. He's dribbling a basketball like a pro. He, he points at uh, Hextable and he goes, Why don't you pick on a monster your own size, Mr. Bill? Hixable takes one look at the wolf man, starts darting towards the door. Coward, that Mr. Bill. Um, roll initiative. <laughs> okay. Ah. The, oh. the, the wolf man goes, well, I didn't get all dolled up for nothing. Who wants to go to dinner? And he starts moving towards you guys. Great. So I got seven. Yeah, I think I'm last three. Okay. Eighteen. Eight. First Shattercock. Did you roll seven? Seven, yeah. You, you and uh, you get? Derek Ty. Six. Let's put me after you. James. Derek, what'd you get? I had a nine. Since the wolf uh, kind of burst through the door and got you guys by surprise, uh, he is going to go also first in addition to third. He starts moving, jumps up onto the table, and then does a flying leap towards you guys right here. Cool. Ooh, <laughs> he died. <laughs> yeah. 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 17 hit. Both sure. of you guys. Mm -hmm. So he he's kind of flying through the air with both both claws out. You know, see some blood dripping from his teeth. And he, he swipes down, uh, misses Raxon briefly, but then kind of just moves his weight a little bit and falls right on top of Deer. And sixty nine. Yeah, sinks his claw like right into the top of his head and starts ripping at his scalp. Mm. Uh, you will take uh, seven damage. Oh, that's not so bad. I, I think also for like falling and hitting the ground, you need Summon to the take people. two damage. All right, Miriatus. Well, this is all shocking. So I go, ah, and then I. <laughs> that's one action. I'm gonna run over there and I'm gonna I'm gonna try and hack that arm off if I can. That's uh, raking at at my Derek's bird skull. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, not my bird arm. Yeah. Uh, which would be so a, you swing at its arm. Yeah, the one that's kind of got his hand right around his head. Yeah. Oh boy! And There's no way this can go badly. <laughs> I'll do a one-handed. I'll do a one-handed oh, strike. Geez. Three. So I miss. <laughs> Thank you for trying. <laughs> <laughs> so what were you swinging at him with? Oh, the sharpest. sword. <laughs> one-handed attack with a, long, with a long sword. So yeah, sword. I, you're, you're trying to be cool, uh, which isn't usually your your mode. So no. you're running across the top of the table and actually slip on a piece of paper. Nice. Um, and you kind of fall sideways, uh, hitting your head on the side of the desk as you we, fall down. Why do we fall down so yeah. much? I, was gonna say, I know. <laughs> We're always tripping. For one damage. And then the All wolf right. uh, pees on you a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I've been doing combat for five years. <laughs> I got this woo! <laughs> like Jerry Lewis with the sword. Never get better at it. So Derek, you're kind of pinned on the ground. Well, first of all, 
he's right on me, but I'm not looking him in the face. I'm like looking off to the side and like kind of like <laughs> <laughs> won't, won't make eye contact. Yeah, with like him. it's not direct, you know. I, but I'm like off to the side going. <laughs> he's he's kind of doing the same thing. Yeah, yeah. They can't both, challenge each other. Both side <laughs> each other's each other. butts. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm also trying to whiff his his anus to see what he's been eating. Um, <laughs> Blueberries. But I try. I get my sword out, and then I'm just gonna try and stab him. Stab, Stab him, him off of me. So uh, first, roll a check to see if you can kind of get away from his pin okay. a little bit. Actually, I'm going to go rage too. I'm going to rage right. out because I smelled that he had chicken recently, and I'm hungry for chicken. I'm going to eat that ass. <laughs> Ooh, okay, boy. we can't roll what, for what, shit. What check is that? Crazy. It was just going to be a strength check. Aha! Uh -huh. Advantage. Oh, sweet, better. So yeah, you're you're able to wiggle free a bit. He's still got his hand on your on your head, his claw on your head. Uh, but you're able to get a weapon out if you okay. wanted to try and attack. Y yeah, I'll just do a one-handed strike with the scimitar. Hits. All right. Two plus, uh, I get another, or one plus two because of my rage. So three damage. Three damage? Yeah, because I'm raged, I get an extra two damage. Okay. So yeah, you got your scimitar out and you just kind of like jab him in the gut a few mm -hmm. times trying to... Trying to get him off of you. Still not looking him directly in right. the face. So he he takes those those uh, scimitar cuts to the belly, uh, and he st he still got your your head in his claws, and he he reaches back with his his opens up his jaws real wide and takes a huge bite into your neck. What a fight? This rolling. Yeah. Always a dose. I'm a, behind him, oh, holding his oh, face oh, towards me. Yeah. <laughs> I've got him. You got him. Oh, yeah. Derek's got him on his knees. <laughs> yeah. He's so, yeah, doing it. He's got. He's got his his. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's got his mouth Control around your neck, and you guys are rolling around on uh -huh. the floor. All the while, he's got his. Uh, he's still like chomping down on you, and he's trying to hit you on the side. Lift a little his bit. tail. Lift his tail. Okay. One of them's got a red rocket. I can't tell you which can't one tell is which his. One. Derek sure has him in a grip. So you take five damage from the bite, and. What do I take from the blowjob? You gain uh, strength. You gain three health. Yeah, you take eight uh, the damage from all the punches he's giving you to the side, trying to trying to all the powers loosen there. you up. So Shattercock. Shattercock's got the ring of canine control. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And uh, she's going to try and says, while wearing this ring, you can use an action, expend one charge to cast Dominate Monster, uh, save DC 15. Um, on a beast that has canine slash wolven ancestry. I'll say that works. That's awesome. So give um, it a shot. You're going to move closer or anything? Oh, um... Nah, fuck Okay, it. you don't have a cool saying or anything when you try and use this? Yeah, I'll howl at, I'll howl at the monster. Okay. So, uh, I'll be like, Derek, look out! Or, wait, wait, hold on. Derek, look out! Ah! Piercing. It goes really long. Ah! Just piercing. Ah! Woo! So, uh, ah! the, <laughs> the, the wolf man's ears perk up, his head's looking around, he, he looks right at you, starts harmonizing with you at the end there, he's, <laughs> Huh? And uh, I guess he he unclenched uh, Derek's neck, what went to howl oh. back at you, and then kind of on all fours runs up, oh, and uh, stands on top of the table howling at you. Do I control him? Uh, yeah, cool. He, I mean, he's just howling back at you at this point, kind okay. of doing what you were doing. Hextable's turn. He he is struggling with his own locked door. He's at the rust. Fucking idiot <laughs> door. So yeah, if they went out, he's kind of he's trying to pull them back he's in some way. Muscular dude work. at this point, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So the the metal doors are starting to get kind of crunched together, but he still can't seem to to okay. get out. I go up to Hextable, and then I say, "You just gotta flip the latch right there. <laughs> That'll." That'll get it for you. Yeah. Oh, Pop open the so latch. you see, thank you, Grimo. Yeah, no problem, no problem. Um, he then pull, just pulls the thing off of it. But before you go, I just want to let you know, I would never treat my girlfriend the way that you treat Puddin' Pop, Mr. Bill. And uh, maybe that's maybe that's a lesson you gotta take with you when you leave today. You know, because my girlfriend, she's wonderful. She's great. You don't have a girlfriend. Does Mr. <laughs> does Mr. Bill just backhand? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bill just kind of does a backhand. Grimo goes oh. sliding down oh, okay. the stairs. Nice. Well, you know, he looks. Grimo looks over at Puddin' Pop, see if he like scored any points. Sure, <laughs> <laughs> you're a true hero, Grimo. Oh, oh she yeah, did no, notice. No she's problem. talking to a plate of fries. <laughs> uh, Decker, I'm gonna see that. See that the wolf isn't thrall. I'm gonna give Shattercock a very obvious and knowing wink. I'll uh, oh. tap, tap, tap over here. And then I'll cast Lightning Bolt, because I saved my spell slot. Uh, 
And I'm going to use my wand to boost, to boost it. So let's see here. Uh, dexterity saving throw, 8d6 lightning damage on a failed save. Uh, but I get an extra d6 for boosting it. What's your DC, save DC? 15. So you're targeting the wolf, right? Yeah. So That's yeah, why I moved over. He's so going to take full damage lightning. from that. Oh, yeah, he will. Uh, I got to roll a million dice now. So that's 96. Jesus. Yeah. Man. Spells are pretty cool. 96. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, so this is 6. Ugh. 10, 16, 19, 21. Three more, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I got 26, so 29, 11, 32. 32. Holy fuck. Yeah. I only get like two of those. All right. So, yeah, where does the, the lightning bolt emerge from Decker? He's going to put his hands down and then like. Lightning arcs will shoot all throughout his flame decals and then around his cool shades. <laughs> and then he'll 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 be gathering up all the electric energy. He'll focus it into his frosted tips and then lower his head and a giant oh. column of lightning will shoot cool. out of the top of his hair. So yeah, that lightning flies at the the wolf man, connects with him and sends him to the ground. He actually falls over onto all those chemical bottles uh, that start spilling out everywhere. Sweet. That was a um, good idea. So yeah, his his Furs all black and charred and burnt, and his body's kind of smoking, uh, overpowering smell to you. Mm. Stand up with like cool lightning sparks going all around my hair and say, Welcome to Flavor Town, motherfucker. Oh, wow. Nice. That was real clever. So we all, we all, no, we all, no, we all, we all, we all, a tiny little erection in his yeah. pants. No, you can see he's, <laughs> he's wearing big old baggy pants, so it's really easy to see. Yeah. Okay. He's all, he's very erect. Is he dead, Dan? Uh, no, so he's lying, lying oh. down there all charred up. Um, and right, right after Decker's cool catchphrase, you hear a booming voice from the rafters, rafters above. God damn it. A masked humanoid is clutching a cape over his face. Batman! Sing once again with me our strange duet. Um, he <laughs> flings aside the cape and you see him in all of his glory. Decker immediately goes, Dear God, it's a pedophile. Yep, it's a pedophile. <laughs> the Phantom of Mal Wallachia. Wallachia. He, he flings his cape aside. Uh, you see this long-limbed, big-bellied, yeah. pale elf with red hair, Ugh. kind of a goofy grin. He's dressed in very formal clothing and wears a mask, a white mask, over half of his face. Harry Knowles? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so the masked man, he's up in the rafters and he jumps, drops from the ceiling and grabs a rope and swings across the room, landing next to Puddin' Pop. He snatches her up under his arm and looks into her eyes. All your fantasies, you always knew that man and mystery, Puddin' Pop goes, were both in you. <laughs> oh, wow. She completed. <laughs> so, yeah, they're, they're staring at each other in, in the eyes. <laughs> cool. Romantic. Should, should All we, right. Are, are we doing anything? Turn. Okay. Well, so the phantom tugs on the, on the end of the rope that he's still holding on to, and it kind of lifts them, carries them both up into like the rafters. Like Batman. Rafters. <laughs> you watching like Mary Poppins. Yeah. We're all just like, who the fuck was that? <laughs> uh, you, you do hear uh, the cause, uh, the Hextable calling. Come with me, my love. <laughs> you pudding pop. And then he, he kind of turns back and walks into the room a little bit more. Um, but yeah, it is your turn, Raxon. All are, right. Are they gone or should I? Yeah, they're, yeah, they're here. All right. They're off into um, the darkness above. So my bird wing arm has like a, like a giant, it's like a wing on me now. Mm -hmm. Cool. I use that to scoop up all these random vials so I can hold as many as I can, and I want to try to pour those down the wolf's throat. Right on. As I can, as much as I can. What do I got to roll for that? Um, yeah, dexterity check. 18 plus. It works. Okay, cool. I do it. So and I'm just, I'm just pouring vial after vial, hoping oh. it does something. Because <laughs> uh, I want another bird arm person to like identify with. So, <laughs> so um, all, all of the weird uh, purple juice and regeneration juice are mixing around. Uh, the wolf, all of his uh, wounds start healing themselves. Damn it. Um, so his, his fur kind of regenerates. Uh, his muscles come back bigger and stronger. Um, but he's also uh, super dazed and druggy. Nice. And uh, his tongue's kind of lulling out. He, yeah, he's actually, his tail's wagging a lot, and he's, he's kind of rubbing on himself a oh, bunch. Oh, it was ecstasy. Exploring a little bit. Regretting this decision. You made ecstasy. Okay, well, I guess we solved that problem. 
So yes. the end. Um, oh, yeah, that, well, that's, that's the end of the fight. <laughs> yeah, you guys. Uh, Incapacitated. <laughs> oh, oh, he's just pumping a table. I know. He's just staring at uh, glow gloves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of <laughs> masturbating. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Licking his own crotch. And, <laughs> yeah, he's he's completely out of it. He's like Tommy was so when he's got the underwear EDM. against his crotch. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys got 500 experience. Oh wow. Yeah. Um, and well do done, it, party. Doing the hextable stuff. Derek Binslord. A strange feeling overcomes you. Your guts start rumbling. <laughs> your breathing becomes labored and your skin feels heart, h- hot. <laughs> your skin feels hot. You start sweating profusely. Your bite wound starts to swell and throb. You look down at your hands and you see hair growing like crazy. You look More around at your arms, yeah. legs, and chest. Your hair just grows like insane and then flutters off in a little dust of wind. And you, uh, you feel very different. Your senses. So the seemed, hair grew, but then flew away. Yeah, it grew like crazy, really almost like it, it grew off. out of your yeah. body. Okay. Ooh, um, new business opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, you feel different. Uh, your Can't senses, you. your senses seem dull. You're a bit wobbly on your feet. Uh, you feel like you're missing something, and you look around and notice you're missing all of your animal features. I reach for my tail. Is my tail there? Tail's gone. My tail's gone. Oh, no, you got bit by a were man. I got bit by by a man were. <laughs> you are <laughs> you are now a man man actually. I'm a man man. Oh, man. No. Only during the full moon what though. The? I, I, I try. Know. I go. Oh. I run over to the corner and I try and pee by raising my leg, but it doesn't work. Oh. Yeah, you're kind of you're off balance. You have to pee sitting down now. Oh, like normal men. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and I think that's a good place to cut. What? <laughs> yeah. This week. I have After questions. Such a climactic <laughs> change. What will this mean? These hands. Adam looks at his. Yeah, <laughs> like cool. Yeah, <laughs> look at my. Yeah, there is a mirror over in the corner. I'm hideous. <laughs> no, but you're invisible. <laughs> Wait, what are we doing? All right, so hey. um, we will be back in two weeks uh, for some more LXJ. Everybody, thanks for tuning in. Thank yeah. you. Happy Halloween. The Grand Vizier bursts in. <laughs> <laughs>